Hello guys, this is Sitra Mubin Ahmad and I'm again back with another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can change the text of one text box according to the value in another text box. Does it sound any complicated? Let's see a running example. Here you can see a window. In this, we have a default value in total text box. If the customer is paying us 3000 rupees, how much money should we return? We should return 500. Did you see it was changing the value on every key press? How it is happening? I'm gonna make a new project in front of you so you can see it clearly each and every step. I'm using Visual Studio Enterprise 2015. I'll make a new project Windows Form Application, Text Tutorial, I'll name it. It's creating the project. Now, I will quickly drag and drop some text boxes and labels. I will change the text of every label. It was total. It was cash. Oops, oops. It happens. <laughs> cash and amount. I will change the name of every text boxes too. So it will be easy to use at the background. TXT total, TXT cash, and TXT amount. To make some value default on text box, we need to set enable to false. And I'll provide the value in the text section. 500. Alright. Now, to do that function, which was changing the value on every key press we need to use an event that event is called text change as you can understand with the name it changes the text on every key press so I will choose the cash text box because the value is changing according to the value in the ca uh, cash text box the value which is in the cash text box is dependent on the result so we will just double click or you can go to the event section and choose from the property panel. We have now created the function at the background text changes. So we need to uh, save the value of total text box of this total text box and cash text box to calculate the final amount. We will store it in a variable by converting. Do not forget to convert. It will give the error otherwise. Copy and paste for cash. Now we will set the calculated value to amount cash box. The cash box. Math hmm. apps. I'm using absolute function. Cash minus total. I would convert it to a string because I'm setting it to the text box. Now I will run the program and let's see the result. Okay, we provided 2500 as a default value and now I'll provide the cash amount 4000. Did you see it is returning 1500, which is the accurate amount? So this was it. Hope you guys liked it. Do not forget to subscribe my channel and give me a thumbs up.